Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it's Friday, so it is another weigh-in day. It is the first weigh-in of February. I'm so glad January's over. January I feel like is the longest month Ever. Let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way, but I am excited for February. I'm excited for the first weigh-in. Today we're going to talk all about this week's WW workshop topic, how my week was, and of course I'll share my weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do upload five days a week and Friday is always weigh-in day. So subscribe and hit your bell so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like individualized support. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things, and don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to my week, my weigh-in, and the workshop topic. I hope you had a fantastic week. I'm so excited to be moving into the month of February, moving into the month of love and Valentine's Day. I'm really focused on self-care this month. I try to do that every February, just really focus on taking extra good care of myself for the month. It's my Valentine's Day gift to myself, is taking good care of myself. So I have some goals for the month of February. I talked a little bit about this in last week's weigh-in on how I'm considering joining a gym relatively close to my house so that I can can go and walk on the treadmill. So I was figuring that joining a gym to get in some exercise would be really beneficial. A lot of you reached out and said, oh, why don't you just buy a treadmill or walk outside? Walking outside isn't a huge option for me because like I mentioned, I live out of town. We don't have any sidewalks and it's the dead of winter. And as far as buying a treadmill, it's just not something that I want to purchase and have to store in my house. I had a treadmill at one time. I actually sold it when I joined Jazzercise. So for me, it makes the most sense to just join a gym where I can walk, you know, 30, 45, minutes a few days a week and then get in my three days of jazzercise. I also mentioned that I really want to up my fitness and my physical activity in 2022. So this is going to be a great way to do that. So I'm really looking forward to that. I figure I'll head on in to my local gym here in the next week or so and join and then I'll be able to incorporate a little bit more activity and I'll take you guys of course along with me whenever I go on what I eat in a day. So that's exciting. That's coming up for me. My food has been great. My thyroid has been my fatigue is getting better and better every single day. I'm so grateful for my thyroid medication because it's really helped not only with my weight loss, but also helped me with fatigue. It just, it gets better every day, which I'm so thankful for. I'm still really enjoying the way that I'm eating. I'm not missing anything. I don't feel like I'm missing out. So nothing's changed there. I'm actually doing really well and I'm feeling really, really good. I'm excited to share my weigh-in with you, but before I do, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is how perfect perfectionism can get in the way. I am not a perfectionist, but I am very type A. I like things a certain way. I like things to be in their place. I like things to be balanced and I'm a big planner and I can get thrown off kilter if my plan doesn't go the way that I originally planned it. So this is actually a really good topic for me. Stop striving for perfection and instead look at someone you look up to and kind of emulate them and what they do to reach their goals. How to do this is very simple. Number one, pick someone you admire. Whether that's someone in your day-to-day -day life, maybe it's someone that's lost a lot of weight, maybe it's your favorite YouTuber, but pick someone that you admire and look up to. And you don't even have to know them personally. Number two is list out the qualities that you admire about that person the most. Find three similar qualities between you and that person. And like I said, you don't have to know them, but think about that person and the things that they do or the goals that they've had or what they're doing to reach those goals and see how that applies to you. Number three is to describe a setback that that person has faced. Think about a similar challenge that you've been through or that you're going through or that you may potentially go through as that person you look up to. And number four is take time to reflect. We're all human. We all share strengths, we all share struggles, and we all experience setbacks. That's universal. Even the people who you feel like just nail all their health goals, they've still struggled. They've still experienced setbacks. Everyone wants to do well. Everyone wants to reach their goals, but by having a perfectionist mentality, 
It makes it very difficult and you can self-sabotage yourself and end up not reaching your goals. It can also make you a lot less likely to try new things like moving more or eating healthier. And that's because you're worried that you're not going to be good enough. Maybe you don't want to try that workout class because you think people will be looking at you or you'll be self-conscious. Maybe you don't want to try that food because it doesn't look good. How about actually trying those foods and moving your body more and trying new things to break yourself out of that perfectionism mentality? That's why treating yourself like a friend, aka offering yourself some grace, is extremely important. By seeing the similarities in someone that you admire or look up to, it's going to set you up for success without getting into that perfectionism mentality. The important part is, is when you make a mistake, pick yourself back up and do it again. The worst thing you can do is quit. Never quit, just keep going. I really like this topic. I can find myself getting really upset if things don't go my way or if what I plan doesn't work out and I do and I really try not to have that perfectionism mentality and understand that weight fluctuates. How I'm eating is going to fluctuate. Some days are better than others. It's really important to remember to treat yourself like a friend and give yourself some grace. So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. If you watch my last week's weigh-in, I lost two pounds, which is the most weight that I've lost in a week and like I said, I don't know how long, months, years. So today when I stepped on the scale, I am down an additional 1.1 pounds. So that means for the last month and a half, I have lost over a pound every single week. I'm very, very happy with this. This is a sustainable, doable weight loss. I'm not getting into the perfectionism mentality where I need to lose three, four, five pounds a week. I'm eating the foods that I love. I'm feeling better than ever. I've shared quite a few updated photos. I shared a little face-to-face -face photo with you guys showing the difference. I started on WW at my highest weight and where I am today. I've shared some full body pictures showing how big and baggy my clothes are getting, especially these t-shirts and pajama pants that I have. And that's really helped keep me motivated and stay on track. And remember that every pound or every ounce that we lose adds up to pounds and pounds and pounds. And eventually you'll get to your goal. For me, I'm officially 86 pounds down. I am four pounds away from 90 pounds. And when I hit 90 pounds loss, it is closet clean out time. I am going through my clothes. I am trying on all of my clothes and whatever clothes no longer fit me, they're being donated or given to friends and family because I am not gaining this weight back. I am keeping this weight off. I am going to hit my weight loss goal in 2022. So I'm rewarding myself with a closet clean out, which probably means I'm going to be buying some new clothes as well. So I'll take you guys through that process as well. It's going to be super exciting and I'm only four pounds away. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of this week's workshop topic? And are you someone that struggles with trying to be perfect and not giving yourself grace? Definitely let us know down in the comments. And if you have some tips and tricks for us, please share those as well. The community can definitely benefit from those. Happy Friday, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you're not. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.